indeed abides the spirit of Christmas. Noel! 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 The fine bunch of ingrates I have for Eleanor. Ingrates indeed! After my giving five of the best years of my life in promoting your welfare and comfort. And what is my reward? A ten cent store alarm clock. <laughs> And after me, giving you board and room for five years, what's my reward? A 50-cent necktie that your brother clubbed in to buy. Oh, Edgar. Look, look at that mug. It's just a $50 photographic set. Oh, Edgar. Now, that isn't a true Christmas skirt, Edgar. Brother, you shake hands with Edgar. We must all be happy and gay. Christmas spirit? Does this sound like a Christmas spirit to my darling brother-in-law? A sock for your foot and a sock for your jaw. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? To my mother-in-law, I pen this song. Why don't you go home where you belong? <laughs> Christmas spirit. <laughs> That's my radio, and I want to hear the Christmas music. Well, this is my cabin. And if you want to hear the Christmas music, take it outside. Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Same to you, Ed. I've pulled you through many a sickness, you old rascal. <laughs> Did you have a good year, Doc? I would have had if some of my patients had paid their bills. Come on, Doc, have another drink. Thanks. Oh, it's just something cheap I picked up. It had to be. <laughs> you know, the doctor's had considerable <clears throat> difficulty in collecting his bills. Oh, well, have a drink, Miss Bidlett. <laughs> Thanks, man. <clears throat> He's had enough. I'll see you don't get any more. Oh, uh, uh, Doctor, uh, did you have any difficulty in collecting your bills? Uh, pardon me just a moment. Excuse me, Doctor. I've got to go over there. Sweet. Oh, Edgar, turn off the radio, dear. We can't hear a word the doctor says. Oh, It was my own resistance that fixed me up. Yeah, your resistance to my bills. Say, hey, now listen. If you think that I'm going to sit around here and spend Christmas Eve listening to you, you old quack, quack, oh, oh. let me tell you something. Why, Mr. Kennedy, if the doctor told you half the truth about your case... You sit I... down. Oh, 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 so that's it, huh? You're letting your wife in on your professional secrets, huh? You old pill peddler. Pill peddler. I'm going home and I'm never coming back here. Uh, Say, Doc, what? can I depend on that? Oh, yeah. Andrew, you can talk like that. <laughs> now you got him sore. He's got to get him off. Well, good night. Hey, Sam, I don't think you should go on. And a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh, dear, well, 
Charge me five bucks for it, it's only worth a dime. <laughs> well, after the way that guy acted last night, I just haven't any more idea of taking it. Oh, that's no, Andy, you're just acting like a great big boy. You know, after all, there's no use of cutting off your face to spite your nose. Oh, Andy, you said nosing off your face, spiting off your. Uh, here, take the medicine. I don't want to. Come on. I don't want to. Pick out your tongue. Oh, <laughs> no, more than that. Hurry up. Oh, now, Edgar. If you don't behave yourself, I'll give you some castor oil. Ah. <laughs> Here, take the box. <laughs> See, now that wasn't bad to take, was it? <laughs> There's a good boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> See, you feel better already. <laughs> Something you ate, no doubt. <laughs> uh, now, Edgar. Now, wait a minute. Now, Edgar, here, now, you just lie down here and be all comfortable, you know, and give yourself a chance to work. You know what the doctor said? Mustn't do anything to excite yourself. You'll feel better in just a few minutes. <laughs> I think it's just wonderful. I agree, you just take a nice rest. You know, the doctor said you mustn't let anything excite you. Something wrong? Yes. You sound like somebody was dying or something. So somebody is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, somebody we know? Yes. Well, it's too bad, isn't it? Well, that's life for you. Here today and gone tomorrow. Looks like when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> it's not bad at that. Oh, Edgar, you, you don't understand. Come on, I'll quit playing, will you? Well, I'm quit not playing, playing, Edgar. I have. Look, somehow your your medicine got mixed up with that. A deadly poison. They've taken in the slightest amounts, cause agonizing death. Oh, I gave it none. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't somebody do something? You can't let me. I'm going to die. You can't let me die like this. Somebody do something. <laughs> What's the matter, sis? Oh, brother, I, I made an awful mistake. I poisoned Edgar with your chemical. But, well, Florence, that's impossible. Oh, it is, and I know. I'm a murderess. What'll I do? I'm a Lucretia Borgia. Oh, baby, now. 
Kennedy, but you must realize that after last night, I can be of no further service to your husband. Oh, but it's terrible if you can only see the poor dear. He's turning green. <laughs> oh, you will tell Joe that's big of you. Thank you so much. He's coming right over. It's beginning to work. I'm so sick. Help me up to my room. Oh, oh well, after I do. <laughs> Hey, Doc, wait a minute. I've got something I want to tell you. Here's a laugh for you. Oh, oh, Eddie. Oh, Mother, don't cut that string. Well, what does it matter now? And so the big lug thinks he's poisoned and dying. And if you want to get even for what he did to you last night, all you have to do is to make him believe it. Will you do it? Will I? <laughs> Lead me to him. Oh, Edgar, are you comfortable, darling? Oh, my poor angel, I'm so sorry about everything. Is that all right? Is that warm enough? Oh, I want to do everything I can for you, Edgar. Oh, doctor. Oh, I'm so glad you've come. I, I hope you're not too late. I, I'm poisoned, Edgar. <laughs> oh, poor little Florence. She just made a little mistake. I gave it nine. My chloride of mercury it. <laughs> That's all right now. Everything's going to be all right. Old man, how can I tell you? I'm afraid this is the end. Oh, no! Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 Say, Doc, isn't there something you can do? You can't let me go like this. <laughs> Do something, Doctor, anything. I'm sorry, old man, but you'll have to know. All I can do is to make the going easier. <laughs> now listen, sis, don't get scared. He isn't really poisoned. Oh, brother, I know you're only saying that to make it easier for me, and I love you for it, but please not now. I, I want to go back to my Edgar. Open your mouth. Open it up. Here, Edgar, I brought you a drink of water. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Oh, my angel. <laughs> Oh. Will it take long? I'm afraid not. Oh. How? How will I know when the end is coming? Will it hurt? No, Ed. It's just like falling asleep. <laughs> You'll yawn a little, get a bit drowsy, and then the end... He's close. Oh. Oh, why don't you listen to don't, me? Brother, don't, brother, don't. Hello? Hello? Can't, uh, can't I even die in peace? Will somebody answer that telephone before I go insane? Oh, Edgar, I've got a brother who is now, Edgar. Hello. Yes, Mrs. B. Van, he's here. I'll tell him right away. Oh, Doc, it's your wife. She said the Smith's twins are arriving. Oh, Edgar, isn't nature wonderful? Twins are coming and you're going. That's... Uh, yeah. It's a two-to-one shot. Oh. <laughs> well, if I don't see you again, goodbye. <laughs> you big stiff. Oh, <laughs> oh Florence. Florence. Oh, Florence. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing with my cap and muffler and my new shotgun? Well, Ed, they don't use shotguns in the happy hunting grounds. 
Brother. Yeah. You've always liked it, haven't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, keep it. Cherish it. And someday... May it blow your head off! No, Edgar. No, Edgar. Hey, hey, what are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> I won't have to do that now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Edgar. <laughs> It won't be long now. Oh, Edgar. But we have been happy, haven't we? Oh, yes, Edgar, dear. Do you remember the day I first met you? Mm -hmm. I <clears throat> packed your books home from school? <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget it. <laughs> remember the day that you were eating bananas and you threw one of the skins down on the sidewalk? <laughs> yeah, and you stepped on it. <laughs> And I went, boom, boom, like that. <laughs> yeah, you thought that thing you put me down with you. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so much I thought I'd die. Now the Pollyanna Cemetery offers its daily program of cheer. Edgar, oh, sweet, Edgar, sweet, don't you want? Edgar. In beautiful Pollyanna Cemetery, the glad cemetery, with joyous sunshine abounding and spreading its radiance of warmth to the beautiful birds and flowers. Beautiful. Beautiful boy. Oh. And birds. No, no, Edgar. No, Edgar, no, no. Don't go to sleep. Edgar! 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 And so we've given him the scare of his life. It'll teach him a lesson. Well, he needs it. I thought I was going to heaven. <laughs> He's handed me the best laugh I've had in years. That boob of a husband of yours isn't going to die. He isn't going to die. No, no, you didn't give him bipolar to mercury, and I gave him sleeping pills. <laughs> 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 Last night you gave a fine exhibition of temper. And when you thought you were dying, you tried to set yourself right with everyone. So brother and I thought we'd teach you a little lesson. <laughs> brother thought he'd teach me a little lesson. <laughs> Come here, brother. <laughs> give me the gun. No. Uh, no, uh, give me the gun. Uh -uh. Give me the gun. No. There's nothing doing. You said I could have it. Yes, you did, Edgar. Now, you mustn't be an Indian killer. <laughs> <laughs> right, I did say that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I told him he could have it. Right, right. Right. You told him he could have it. I told him he could have it. That's all right. That's all right. You don't. 